In this video, we will be going over how to create custom menus for Five Stand in Compact. Power on the MT and press 1 for games. We will be creating a 5 stand menu, so press number 1 to select 5 stand. From the 5 stand menu, go down using the 0 button and select option 4 for program menu. Currently, there are 4 user programs that may be programmed. Keep in mind that these menus are shared with the compact menus. We will select user program number 1. If there is a menu already created, you will be asked if you would like to overwrite the menu. Press 1 for yes. It is recommended that you have your 5 stand menu written down. This will make the programming process much faster. Here are the sequences for each stand. There are five different options for presentation. None ignores a sequence. This is used when you no longer need to throw any more targets at that stand. Single is a single target that requires you to select one trap. Pair is a true pair, or simo. This requires you to select two trap numbers which will be fired simultaneously. Report is a report pair which requires you to select two traps. The first selected trap will fire on the vocal command, and the second selected trap will launch on the report of the gun. Raphael is a following pair from the same trap with a delay of two and a half seconds between the two targets. This is typically seen in feet task. As you can see, you use the up and down arrow keys to cycle through each presentation. For the first sequence on stand one, we have a single target from trap two. We will use the arrows to select single and press enter. We will then press two for trap two and press enter. The controller automatically advances to the second sequence on stand one, which is a report pair with trap three, then eight. We will again use the up and down arrows to select the report pair and hit enter. Press trap three, then confirm by pressing enter. Next, select trap eight and press enter. The next sequence is a true pair with trap five and four. Use the arrows to select true pair and press enter. Press trap five, then enter again. Press trap four and select it by pressing enter. Since our five targets have been programmed into the first stand, we select none for sequence four and sequence five. Pressing enter with the bird type on none will advance to the next sequence. The controller will advance to stand two. The first sequence on stand two is a single target from trap five. Press enter on the single bird type then press 5, then enter. The next sequence is a report pair with trap 7, then 6. So again, press enter on report, then input trap 7 and trap 6, pressing enter after each trap. The third sequence is a true pair with trap 4 and 2. Select pair and press enter. Press trap 4 and select it by pressing enter. Do the same for trap 2 and commit it with the enter button. We will again choose none for sequence 4 and 5. The controller will advance to stand number 3. The first sequence is a single target from trap 4. Press the enter button when single is selected. Press the trap number you would like, then press enter to advance. Sequence 2 is a report pair from 1, then 3. Using the same technique, we will input those traps. For the third sequence, we will input a true pair with traps 7 and 8. We will again choose none for sequence 4 and 5. For the first sequence on stand 4, we will enter a single target from trap 10. To input a double digit trap number, we must press 0 first, then the two numbers. Press enter. The second sequence on stand 4 is a report from 2 and 6. For demonstration purposes, we will do a Raphael following pair from trap number 5 for the third sequence. Using the arrow keys, select Raphael and hit enter. Press trap 5 and hit enter. And again, hit trap 5, then enter. The fourth and fifth sequences will be no bird type. The controller will advance to stand 5 where the first sequence is a single target from trap 8. We will then input a report pair with trap 5 and 3. then a true pair with trap 1 and 7. Sequence 4 and 5 will stay as none. Now the 5 stand menu has been programmed. 
To play through the newly programmed menu, back out to the five stand menu. Press option 2 to select level. From the level menu, press option 1 for user programs. We will then select menu number 1, which we just created. Press option 1 for number of shooters. Enter one shooter and press enter. As you can see, shooter 1 on stand 1 has a single target from trap 2. Pressing the pull button will launch the designated trap and advance to the next sequence. The second sequence is a report pair with trap 3 and 8. Trap 3 will fire first, followed by trap 8 on the report. Notice how the MT4300 becomes a single button remote as it advances through the menu. The third sequence is a true pair with trap 5 and 4. Pressing the pull button will launch those two traps simultaneously. The MT4300 will notify you when it's time to change stands. Press the 1 button for no bird, or press enter to continue. We will press enter to continue to stand 2. The first presentation is a single target from trap 5. Press pull to launch the target. In case of a no bird, we will press the 1 button to go back to the previous presentation. Press pull to see the single target from trap 5 again. The controller will automatically advance to the next sequence, which is a report pair with trap 7 and 6. Press pull for the first target. Press pull on the report to launch the second target. The third and final sequence on stand 2 is a true pair of 4 and 2. Press pull to see those two targets simultaneously. Again, press enter to continue. To exit the 5 stand menu, press number 3. Confirm you want to exit by pressing the number 1 button. From the game menu you can choose option 6 which is compact. If you go to program menu and select menu 1, it will ask you if you want to overwrite the menu we just created. Be aware that both Compaq and Fistan share these four menus. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or visit us at longrangellc.com.